Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know not only do I create content on my YouTube channel here, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch where I play single player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video casts. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video. Now we gotta get to the next review, Chad. A scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown of Spider-Man, The Insidious Six, Part One. Again, weird. Why did they call them The Insidious Six instead of The Sinister Six? Is there was there a licensing issue where the comics is like we can't use the 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 actual comic title of the team? I don't understand that. That feels like an Avi Arad decision. Like that feels like something that he would do. It's like you know what? Let's fucking change. Why? Uh, I just want to do it. It's like I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it, Chip. Um, as you asked me, one of the anime Titanic films is two survivors and a dog go to Atlantis and dog thinks what? What? <laughs> okay. Wow. I gotta review some of these someday, Chip. That's yeah, fucking nuts. No, it does not, Duma. That they were not actually on the Titanic, so it does not. It's a shipwreck movie, shipwrecked if you will, but not actual Titanic film. Fucking amazing. But chat, uh, yes. So chat, we are opening up. It's it's after season one. Chat, Spider Man. He's just sad. He's so goddamn sad. Oh, got a follower. We got a new follower. Chat, Sean Post Post. Pulsultra, Sean Pulsultra, I'm going to call you Sean for short, but Sean Pulsultra, thanks for the follow you, my new Huckabear, hope you're doing very well, to help you enjoy the review of Spider-Man, so chat, we're opening up this episode, Spider-Man is sad, because he has no significant other in his life, even though women are constantly, consistently throwing themselves at him, Mary Jane, fucking Felicia Hardy, even De nerdy Deborah Whitman, chat, who, because she clearly has the hots for Peter, too. Just always just like, oh, let's fucking, she's like, I was like, I'm awkward. I don't know what to do. I gotta be smart. He's like, just fucking take a day for yourself, Peter. All right? But he's talking to his his pal, his best pal, a chat, Bruce, who is a gargoyle. Again, haha, is that a reference to the fucking gargoyles was out at the time? I don't know. Bruce. He's like, no one understands me, Bruce. I don't know how to feel. He's very upset, chat. Thank you, the Parker luck. It's the, yeah, I know, Dark, so you're right. He's got that Parker luck right now, Chad. He's explaining that to Bruce. But he just, it, you know what? Very clearly, Sam Raimi was influenced by this episode, Chad. He's like, oh, this is what I want to do. And where fucking Spider-Man, he's just, you know, uh, he's web-swinging, Chad. He's crawling on goddamn walls. All of a sudden, he loses his grip. He's no longer sticky. He even says, I'm not sticky, as he falls <laughs> falls to the fucking earth, Chad. He's like trying to stop himself. He's like, oh, he, he manages to catch himself. He's like, oh, shit. I thought I lost it there for a little. I guess I was a shit, but then he fucking doesn't become sticky again, Chad. He's like, oh, I'm not sticky. And he's fucking free falling, Chad. He's screaming his little ass off. Eventually, he does get sticky and he grabs on. He's like, oh, but I, I'm going too fast. He's going way too fast, Chad. But thankfully, a very kind garbage man put a whole bunch of feathers into a dumpster of down, down feathers, Chad. Very, very soft. He fucking, ah, he lands in there, Chad. He goes, whoa, that was crazy. What's going, what's going on with me? He just doesn't understand, Chad. He's confused. What could be happening? He has these amazing spider powers for years, and suddenly they just don't work. Again, taken by Sam Raimi or Spider-Man 2, but it's just because uh, Peter couldn't get up anymore. It was an allegory chat to male impotency. That's what Sam Raimi wanted. Here, I, I, I mean, I guess, no, I guess it is kind of male impotency. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, we cut then chat to uh, the Kingpin. He's having a meeting with all the crime lords of New York, or I guess the country, the United States, I presume. We have the Hammerhead, we have the Owl, we have Sil Silver Man talking shit. Because the Kingpin's like, hey guys, crime's up by 14%, making more money. Aren't you guys all happy? And Silver Man goes, we are not happy, Wilson. And he presses a button, chat, and these big old thick fiber wires, they just, they just, they just encircle. They hold down, they like like BDSM hold down Wilson Fisk. And he's like, what's the meaning of this? And he's like, Superman's like, let me show you, okay? Fucking Spider-Man. And they see Spider-Man chat, and they're like, this guy's been cutting into our profits. Some crime might be up in these areas, but it's down here. It's down in these areas, man. 
cutting all of our businesses, making it hard for us. And you have been fighting against him. You promised you would kill him, but you haven't done that. And Kimba's like, ah, he fucking breaks out. And he fucking grabs Superman, who is like an 85-year-old man and is very feeble. And he just fucking smashes his head against the goddamn computer. He's like, boom. And he's like, he's down. He's, he's out for the... He's not dead, but he got, he got fucked up. He's a little derpy now. You're not going to be walking anytime soon. And Kingpin's like, all right, who wants, who, who wants to do this? Who wants to fucking get me? He's like, oh, you want to fuck? You want, you want some of this thickness? I was like, no, I do not. Uh, Hammerhead, Hammerhead, <laughs> the animation in this scene is really bad because it's just literally still images of everybody not moving. Like, there, there's no reaction on their face. Hammerhead's just like, he's just like that. <laughs> he's like, has his eyes closed, staring at nothing. <laughs> it's really goofy. And he's like, I'll fucking take care of Spider-Man, okay? I, I'm working on a master plan, okay? I'm putting together a insidious team. Why didn't he say sinister chat? I don't know. Licensing issue? I don't know. <laughs> They're like, are you not? <laughs> I'm impressed. They were impressed. Oh! Uh, D Dunce, Wiz Dunce Wizard, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to streaming. My new Huckleberry. Chat, we are 3,000. I think we're close to, th it says 2,997, but I think we're almost there to 3,000, because that's on a little bit of a delay. But we're so close to it. This close. But chat, we then, we then cut, to, uh, cut to Riker's prison, where a little robot, a little like a uh, scorpion robot, I know it's a spider slayer robot. It, 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 it goes into a cell chat. And whose cell is this? It's the cell of the chameleon, who we talked about in the last animated review chat, the chameleon. And, or the last Spider-Man review, at the very least. And uh, Camille's like, what the fuck is that? And he doesn't say anything, chat, but he's rash. Because like, he doesn't talk. Uh, and fucking little thing pops open. It's it's Alistair Smythe, chat. And he says, Chameleon, we got your little uh, belt thing that turns you into other people. Uh, help us free these other people and we'll introduce you to the campaign. And he goes, fucking great. Although he doesn't say that, she just goes... Because he doesn't say anything. So he puts, he gets the belt chat, he transforms and all this guy, transforms into like the warden of the prison. And this big dumb doofus of a, of a, of a security guard, he's passed by everyone, sells so like, yep, 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 Scorpions, he's in there, Doc Ock, he's in there, Shocker, yep, yep, yep. Uh, but then he sees, uh, <laughs> uh, he passes Chameleon Cell. But again, Chameleon chat, the, the, the uh, supervillain who can change into anyone. He's a master of disguise, right? That's his, like, they probably had fucking meetings, guys. We're getting the international terrorist for hire chameleon. He's going to be in our prison. He's going to be held here forever, probably. He's got a life sentence because he's murdered so many people across the world. Chameleon, kind of a badass in this in this series. I, I like him a lot. Uh, he changes other people. And this fucking idiot looks in the cell. It's like, Warden Smithers, is that you? What are you doing inside the chameleon cell, you idiot? <laughs> and he opens it up. And, he, and the fucking kid goes, ah! And he fucking beats the shit out of him, chap. He, turn, he turns into the guard, takes his security credentials, everything. He goes out. And then he just starts opening everyone's cells. He gets Matt Gargan, which I guess they got him out of the suit. Because uh, remember the episode we introduced the Scorpion chap? He he couldn't uh, get out of his suit. It was like, it was actually like, it's like a, a thing from the comics, too. He couldn't take it off. It's kind of like the rhino, but apparently he could take it off. I guess they reversed the, the process and the neurogenic laser. They reversed the process. So he's fine. He gets him out of there, chat. Um, he then goes for Quentin Beck. He gets Mysterio out of there. The next person they cut to uh, is the Shocker. And it's very weird because the Shocker is just wearing his suit. <laughs> but he has like the regular prison, uh, you know, attire on, like his, his pajamas, chat. But it's like, why is he also wearing his suit in there? <laughs> Like, Quentin Beck wasn't dressed up as Mysterio. Uh, fucking Matt Gargan wasn't dressed up as a, um, a Scorpion. Why was he wearing... He's, like, in his suit. His little quilts. Is this bizarre? It's very dumb. But they get him out. They got shocked. So they got uh, Quentin Beck. They have the uh, Chameleon, uh, Shocker, Scorpion. Uh, they then go to the cell of the Rhino. They get the Rhino out there. But they need the one final person, Chad. And they go to the cell of Dr. Octopus. They get they break him out of there, too. And Doc Ock's like, Doc Ock's he's like, he's the smartest. Like, okay, what the fuck is happening here? And Chameleon says, we gotta get going, man. Fucking the Kingpin. Uh, and the Kingpin popped, or something like a little voice recording. Alistair Smythe pops up. He's like, you guys gotta go. It's gonna be a helicopter for you. And then we get, like, a fucking prison bake sequence, Chad, which I wish was cooler, but it's not. Because they have limited animation here. They didn't spend a lot of money in this episode. Uh, but they fucking go out of their chat, and they are just killing every guard that they see. Rhino's just impaling people. Uh, Doc Ox throwing people uh, away with his fucking tentacle arms. Shocker's just f firing sonic blasts that literally liquefy the insides. People, they just come down there, like, ah, and vomiting their insides out, chat. Scorpion's firing uh, goddamn acid out of his tail, melting people's faces. It's like, Jesus! Uh, love you or dying horrifically. Jonesy Bot! Are you a bot? <laughs> I hope not. Jonesy Bot, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. You're my new husband. I hope you're doing well. Um, 
So everyone, I mean, they get the fuck out, they go in the helicopter chair, and then it takes them to an undisclosed location, a warehouse. There are many warehouses in this series. <laughs> they all look the fucking same. And they're all by the kingpin, funny enough. Uh, and they go there, and they're like, what are we waiting for? What's going to all start arguing with each other because they don't like each other because they're super villains. They have big egos. But then the kingpin's like, all right, guys, settle down. It's me, the kingpin. Yes, I'm Wilson Fisk. And they're like, holy shit. And the kingpin's like, listen. I orchestrated your escape so you can you can uh, fight the individual who put you in there in the first place. Spider, oh that's that. I'm sorry, chat. I, I reverse, reverse, reverse. So they get to the warehouse. They're all arguing. And then fucking Spider Man shows up. Spider Man's there, like, oh shit. And they they beat the shit out of Spider Man, chat. And he just fucking explodes. They're like, whoa. And it's a robot. And they're like, whoa, holy shit. Spider Man was a robot the whole time. Doc Ock's like, no, you fucking moron. Clearly, this was a fake. Like, the person who uh, got us out wanted to test our abilities. And Kingpin goes, I'm here! Yeah, that's correct, correct, Dr. Octavius. And we do the whole spiel, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, hey, that was a test. I want you guys to take down Spider-Man, okay? That's why I brought you all together. And fucking Matt Gargan, he's on board because he's like, I want to work with the Kingpin. Rhino, of course, is on board. Shocker, because they worked with Kingpin previously. Mysterio and uh, Chameleon's also on board. But Mysterio's like, I, I, I like to work alone, personally. Chameleon's like, I kind of want to, too. Uh, Doc Ock's like, fuck you guys, I'm on my own, okay? I'm my own supervillain. But fucking Kingpin's like, hey, I can give you the mo most advanced scientific equipment and laboratory in the world. And Doc Ock's like, well, I fucking love the shit out of science. Fair enough! And they do like a team up thing where they literally put all their hands in and they go, yeah! Like it's an 80s movie. <laughs> so fucking goofy. <laughs> uh, uh, so they're very excited. Uh, eventually, Chad, we cut to, I guess it's uh, morning. And Spider-Man, he heard about the big escape at Rikers, all that. So he's been searching for all these escaped super criminals that he put away, but he can't find anything. He no, there's no robberies, no you know uh, attacks on anyone. He's like, I just can't find anything. What are they doing? Um, eventually, he says, I'm just fucking tired. I'm going. Then oh, he's not sticking anymore, Chad. He unsticks in the wall. He just starts fucking free falling. He's like ah. Eventually, he does save himself, but he, he still he uses web shooters, Chad. He nearly pulls his fucking arm out of the socket. Thank you, Richard, for the five minutes. For science! That's what Doc, Doc Ock was about. Um, he's like, he does it, but his powers aren't working. He's like, fuck, what am I going to do? And so he just fucking, Tom Cruise runs back to uh, Queens, New York, chat. Back to Aunt May's house. And he's like, shit, she's going to wonder why I wasn't up for breakfast and shit. The wheat cakes, the wheat cakes are stale. And so he goes in and puts a blanket over himself and he passes by Aunt May. She's like, hey, that... Where, where were you, Peter? He's like, I was jogging, Aunt May. I don't feel so good. And he goes in his room and says, Peter, why? <laughs> He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing man things. Oh, man things. Okay. And she, she goes back downstairs. You sleep, Peter. He's like, we'll do, Aunt May. We'll do. And he walking. He starts sleeping. Chan, we cut. It's like, uh, it's like he sleeps for a long time apparently he gets up he's like ah i feel refreshed his spider powers are working he's all like crawling walls and shit he goes goes back downstairs he's like oh that that that, uh, that nap really did me well i mean he's like oh peter good to have you yes yes yeah. well i just didn't want to wake you up and he's like what do you mean well you slept all morning all day and all night today's thursday he's like i slept for 24 hours he, she goes yeah you want some toast she's like I'm going to be late for Dr. Kirk Connors class. He fucking goes, he's going to toast. He didn't, he didn't get any of the toast, chat. He didn't get toast. Didn't get those stale wheat cakes either. Aunt May, I think to this day, is still screaming about the toast. And he goes there. He goes to class, chat. But it's all Dr. Kirk Connors already finishing his lecture, talking about the neurogenic assembler, whoever the fuck the thing was that created the vulture and scorpion shit. Or no, uh, lizard, not vulture. He's not. He's introduced late in the season. It's fucking scorpion lizard. They were created by the neurogenic laser gun. And he's going, it's amazing, guys, what we can do with this. We're going to have a big old grant uh, to conduct experiments. And you guys got to work on all your individual experiments and you'll get the money. And everyone's excited. Fucking Deborah Whitman's there. Fucking Michael Morbius, who looks ridiculous. <laughs> he has a, it's like, it's funny. He's got like regular clothes on, chat, a lab coat, and this full length leather jacket that goes down his ankles. And he's got the, I mean, he looks, <laughs> it's just so goofy. He looks like an extra. He looks like one of the members of the Lost Boys. <laughs> They're like vampire, fucking Lost Boys, right? <laughs> that's that's that is a that is definitely an Avi Arad decision. Like the, what was the most popular vampire film, which he was watching at the time, Lost Boys. He looks like a lot, but guy, should we not make him look like anyone, everyone else? And we turn him into a vampire. It's like, oh, it's shocking. It's like, no, nah, fucking Lost Boy. It's like, fuck, fine, fuck, fine. Avi wants it. Let's do it. And he has like a, a very stereotypical Transylvanian accent, blah blah, like Dracula and shit. So on the goddamn nose. 
Uh, and Peter, he walks in there, but the lecture ends. And Dr. Crown's, oh, good for you to, uh, to join us, Parker. All right, guys, here's your homework assignment. See you later. Parker's like, shit. Deborah Whitman is just fucking with him the entire time, Chad. He's like, hey, you can get late again for class. Peter's like, fuck off, Deborah. And Michael Morbus, he joins in. Very mean to Peter Parker. He's like, guys, leave me alone. All right. But then who walks up? Who just struts up there, Chad? It's Felicia goddamn Hardy. And she's like, Peter. Uh, my mom, she's having like a big old science exhibit for Hardy Industries. And listen, I find these things so boring. Could you come with me and just tell me all this science stuff? And he's like, you mean like a date? And she goes, ah, a date. Of course, Peter. She just wants to fuck him. It's just, you just do that, okay? Just fucking do it. She's like, yes. Let Take me. It's a date. Fair enough. He goes, I will pick you up absolutely later today. No, no question. No question. And so he's very excited, Jeff. He's very excited about it. Uh, and then meanwhile, he, he's always got Flash Thompson. He, he comes, stops, but he's like, hey, Parker, I don't appreciate what you're doing. He's like, Flash, me the fuck alone. Flash is like, he's like, what are you talking about? Flash is like, look at this. And he pulls out like a little mini television, because it's the 90s, chat. It's like a, a little television he has. like, look at this. Look what your boss is doing, J. Joe Jameson. He's saying bad things about Spider-Man, but he always says bad things about Spider-Man. He's like, yeah, but he, he says he's teaming up with the Rhino. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He takes the little TV, he's looking, and Spider-Man's teaming up with the Rhino ch chat and like Mysterio and Shocker. He's like, whoa, what the hell is this? Is right. He just fucking takes off. He just takes off because now it's a job for Spider-Man. He knows what these villains are. They're attacking fucking Midtown. They're everywhere, chat. And he goes there. Uh, Rhino, he's robbing like a, a truck. He was getting all this money. Then fucking Spider-Man shows up. He's there. And he starts fighting with the Rhino and everything. But then all of a sudden, Jay, like, he kicks the Rhino's ass. But then fucking Doc Ock shows up. And, and, and Shocker. And Mysterio. And uh, uh, Scorpion. And the Chameleon. He's like, whoa. He's all these enemies at once, chat. Just proceed to beat the shit out of him. And he is like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just overwhelmed. He fucking hides in, in like a little, uh, uh, I don't know, like subway. Fucking trains come around. He's like, ah, it's Mysterio. And then pass right by Mysterio just fucking punches in the face. He's like, oh, shit. And he's, he's not doing well, chat. Doc Ock rips off the fucking lid of the subway. They start to pummel him. He gets out of it. But then his powers stop working. He's like, no, not, no, not this time, not now. And he's like, I can't fight these guys when I have no powers. But at least I have my webbing. He fucking, like, webs up Doc Ock's, one of his tentacles. And Doc Ock just fucking flings him. <laughs> he goes, ah! He fucking hits a goddamn wall chair. Might as well probably could have crushed every bone in his body. Collapsed a lung or something. Uh, he's like, okay, I'm not doing that again. I got, I have to get the, the fuck out of there. And so he eventually, he just escapes shit. He gets back in the subway. He gets on the car. Scorpion goes after him. And Scorpion's a fucking moron. And he gets fucking brained on a goddamn pipe as the train's going by. So he's like, ah! So Spider-Man gets away. He tries to head back to Queens. Meanwhile, the City of Six, they're like arguing with each other. Kingpin's like, can you fuckers get on the same page, okay? I don't care which of you kills Spider-Man, all right? You got to work together so you can kill him, and so we'll be, all be okay, and you get all your fucking money, all right? Shut the fuck up and do what I told you. And they're like, fine, fine. They all go their separate ways because they got to track, they got to find where Spider-Man is. So he's like, go out, fan the city, okay? Find him. So Chameleon, he disguised himself as a homeless man. Mysterious just like, oh, he fucking vanishes. Rhino's a rhino, so he, he can't really hide anywhere. He's like, I'm just going to be here, I guess. Be a distraction. But everyone else goes in the separate uh, directions. Eventually, chat, we cut to... I, I love it. This was such a hallmark of uh, animation. I think, TM, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, popularized this. Because the scorpion, who is dressed up as the scorpion... <laughs> there's very obvious, chat. But he has a fucking fedora and a raincoat on. And it's like, apparently, you're instantly, no one can res recognize you, even though you're obviously in your costume, and your fucking tail is sticking out. What? <laughs> Don, welcome to the stream. How you doing, buddy? Hope your Tuesday evening is training you very well. Yeah, Don, I want to thank you again for your generosity. The last was part two. I do appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you. Uh, uh, but I'm, I'm glad to have you here, my friend. Hope you're doing very, very, you're doing good. Excellent, excellent. No, as I said, guys, Don is one of the most generous people I know. So thank you again, sir. I, I really do appreciate the thought. Yeah, this is my streaming schedule. Just makes things a little, it just makes things a little weird. But I do appreciate that again. Thank you. Ah, so fucking Scorpion's just walking around. <laughs> and then who else is in a, again, Doc Ock says, you know what? Scorpion's got a good idea. He too <laughs> has a fucking fedora on this same exact raincoat. And he's like, Scorpion, is that you? He's like, Doc Ock? He's like, Yeah. And Doc is what the fuck are you going? He's like, well, I'm going to go over to fucking Peter Parker's house because he takes pictures of Spider-Man all the time. And I'm just going to follow him. And Doc Ock's like, that's a good idea. I'm going to steal the idea. But he's like, that's my idea, though. He's like, fuck you. I'll rip your goddamn tail off. He's fucking sent Scorpion on his way. 
He's like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do this myself. And so he goes to the Parker residence chat, and then we get there's another reference to the comics because Doc Ock he opens the door, and Aunt May's like, oh my God, you're beautiful. And chat, they just start smooching Aunt May. Uncle Ben's been dead for a few years at this point. Let's just get it on hot, steamy sex, chat. No. He goes in there and she's like, what happened? And he's like, well, my name is Dr. Octave. He's like, a doctor. Oh no, is Peter okay? And he's like, he's not okay, Aunt May. He's not doing well. I came to your house right here to tell you about him. He's at my clinic. He's at my clinic right now. I can take you to him. He's just, she's like, oh, please do. And so he takes her to the clinic. I mean, you fucking get in Doc Ock clothing, chat. Like, do you not know about Doc Ock who attacked the city like a couple of months ago? Are you fucking serious? You remember? No, I guess not. And so she goes. Eventually, Spider-Man, he, or, or Peter, he gets back to the house, and he finds a note from Doc Ock, and he's like, if you ever want to see your precious Aunt May again, alive, come to this address, Peter Parker. Send Spider- No, he said, send Spider-Man. And he's like, fuck me. <laughs> so he gets the Spider-Man outfit again. And he heads out there, Chad, and he only cut to uh, Doc Ock and Aunt May. They're just shooting, shooting the shit, Chad. He's like, oh, my... My physicians are just helping Peter right now. You can see him uh, uh, soon. Meanwhile, cut to a camera feed of Kingpin watching. And Alistair Smiley's like, hey, this is fucking fantastic. We're actually using our, our real clinic that patches up all of our mercenaries and assassins. It's a great front. Kingpin goes, hell yeah, man. I'm smart. I'm not dumb. And then, chat, uh, Spider-Man, he does infiltrate the clinic. He goes in there. And he finds Aunt May. She's just, what happened? She's on, she's on like a goddamn slab. He's like, oh no, I'm too late. Aunt May. He goes up there to chat. Oh, but then all the fucking supervillains show up. You got Mysterio. You have the Shocker. You got Doc Ock. You got Scorpion. You have uh, the Rhino. And then Aunt May. She gets up there and it's not Aunt May. It's the Chameleon. And apparently he's watched a lot of Wizard of Oz before this little moment here. He goes, I'm here to get you, my pretty. And then they all tag Spider-Man, chat. And they fuck him up. But then... That's the end of the episode. We don't know what happens. We have to tune in next time to see how Spider-Man gets his, act, his ass kicked, chat. But that is Spider-Man episode 14, The Insidious Six, part one. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing wrong with Fedora's doing, but it's just odd that that was, that, that was like an instant choice for all these supervillains to wear. That was a, that was a thing of, of, uh, from 90s, 80s and 90s cartoons. Instantly disguise yourself with a rain jacket and a fedora. It was just weird to me. 